Hello everyone. This is Michelle Litwiller with Owl Star Stampers. Oh, it is Wednesday, January 27th, and I am here for your weekly Facebook Live. Um, I have an entire class for you tonight. So I am super excited for that. I could not stop making cards with this bundle. It is so adorable. You're going to fall in love with it. Um, so I'm excited to share that with you um, tonight. Hello, everyone. Whoa. And that's my voice on my phone, which we don't need. Um, so hello, everyone. Okay. Um... All right, I see a lot of you on here. Um, thank you for hopping on tonight. Oh, my heart is racing a little bit. Oh gosh. Um, all right. So, oh my gosh, I'm wearing my hoodie tonight because it is um, so chilly here today in uh, Michigan, very cold. Uh, oh, Patcha says she's getting this set in the mail on Friday. Um, you're going to love this. So this is a bundle I'm using tonight, the Kangaroo and Company. It is so cute. There's a set of dies, and we're using um, the paper we're using is called, um, let, me, let me tell you what it's called. Why? Oh, my heart is racing. Uh, Becky said, why is your heart racing? Um, my aunt just called me and um, my grandma is um, in a nursing home and um, so I thought something, I just got really worried that something was wrong with my grandma. So, and she called me like 10 minutes before I went live. So my heart is still uh, racing a little bit because, um, yeah, anyway. And actually, my um, my grandma did test positive for the virus, so um, you can keep her in your prayers. I would appreciate it. So I get to stamp with you guys, though, now, right? So that is exciting. And I'm going to call my grandma after I get off here. So we are using the Snail Mail Designer Series paper that is on page 55. And we're going to use, so we're using this paper these resin hearts over here and then the twine up here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karen. And then we're using the kangaroo set that is on. Thank you so much, Anne. Um, we're using the kangaroo set that's on page 17, this one right here. So um, it is uh, the Kangaroo and Company, Company, the stamp set is only $16 and the dies are $25. You can get the bundle for only $36.75. So that is an amazing deal. You can get the dies and the stamp set for thirty for under $37. So um, that's what we're using tonight. Okay, I think I'm calming down for a little bit. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate it. Um, so um, I wasn't sure if I should go live right away, but she said, oh, she's fine. She's still, you know, in her room. You can call her anytime. So I will call her when I'm done. So, okay, before we get started, um, I do, I have four cards we're going to make, four really adorable cards and a cute little box. And so, um, like I said, I started making these cards and I couldn't stop. I could not stop making them. And so I pretty much designed an entire class. And it's what I had to share with you tonight. So um, if you want to get the make and takes, which are three cards in the box, um, you can do that by placing a, a minimum $35 order with me. And you have until uh, Friday night. You do need to use that host code. Um, and then I will send you the make and take packet in the mail. Now this is if you want the make and takes. Um, you're going to have to do all your die cutting because you're going to see we did a lot of die cutting. So you need to have the bundle. 
Um, and then uh, if your order is over 50, because remember celebration is going on, if your order is over 50, I'm also going to send you a full package of the resin hearts. Now I know that some of you just took my stamp camp and you got um, like a few rows of them. You didn't get a full package. You're going to love the resin hearts and use a lot of them. So I'm going to, I use them on these projects today. So that's what I'm going to give you as a thank you gift. Um, if you want to do any ordering, if you love these make and takes, I think you're going to love them. So um, you can use that host code and do some shopping. All right. We got a lot of you on here. I think we're ready to get started stamping. I know I need to do some stamping. Stamping is good therapy. I'll put the host code up again at the end. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And here we go. Wow, look at that mess. Look at that messy table I got there. All right. So let's uh, make some cute cards tonight. Okay, so we're going to make this one first. Okay, so the coolest thing about this is look at this. This comes out of the little pouch and it says just a note. Like, how cool is that? Is this not cool? It's like an interactive card. Um, the thing, the little thing comes out of the pouch. And there, this set is so cool because it has, let me show you, it has a lot of sentiments and a lot of different things that can go in the pouch. Envelopes, presents, hearts, flowers, a baby kangaroo. Um, this is a, an all occasion set, so it can be used for many, many different things. So this is the first card we're going to make. And um, I'm, I have all the pieces done for you. And I even did a lot of the coloring ahead of time because I didn't want um, this to last for like forever and ever. So um, we're starting with a crumb cake card base. And we're going to fold it in half. Thank you for the hearts. I love them. I love them, and I truly, truly appreciate your um, prayers for my grandma. Thank you so much. So here's our awesome card base, just like that. Um, okay, another set of dies that I just got that I totally fell in love with, let me show you. Because they were hidden in here, and I um, almost, I, I just got them because I totally overlooked them. So they are called, you know I liked anything with stitching. The Stitch with Whimsy dies. So here they are. You get quite a few in here. You get um, six. And they have like, this one is huge. That's a really big one. And then this one. So they have all different sizes, rectangles and squares. And they are with back here. So I use this. So if you do get the make and take packet, um, I will die cut this for you. But here they are down here on page 72. So uh, they're separate. Um, they're $29 for these right here, but they leave this cool like border the stitching around and it's like really playful looking and so um, Though I use those dies on this card, but what I did so here it is. Can you see hopefully with my lighting? So these dies are awesome So you could just cut this down and put it on your card, but what I did for this card is is um, when you run it through, you can kind of see like the line of the die. So I am just going to kind of go along and cut this out. Now I almost did this ahead of time, but I thought there has to be something that um, that I can do. So you could even leave the metal die over it and cut around it that way, but you can kind of see like the line um, anyway. So I just went along and I'm not being too particular. So um, it is just a really, these are really cool dies. And you don't have to worry about little pieces because it just um, die cuts right on the paper and leaves a cool border. So there's that and now I'm just gonna do this edge right here. So, okay. Here we go, there is that. So now we have a cute like little frame. So that is really um, easy to um, cut that out if, if uh, you want to. <sighs> okay, so yeah, those are the stitched with whimsy dies. So yes, you probably need those too. I know, Lori. Lori said, it's so funny, I never saw those. I never did either. I totally overlooked them. 
So this paper is from the snail dit that I was showing you that I use. And you can see the little snails on the back, but we're going to be using the Bermuda Bay piece right here. You can see I got a lot of stuff on my table tonight. And we're just going to glue that down with some adhesive um, right here. And this is two inches by five and a quarter. I will type up a tutorial if you do get the make and take packet. And then I will refer you to this video as well. So now we are going to do some stamping. So on this, and then I have a scrap piece of Whisper White. Now this is a photopolymer set. So you know what that means. If it's a photopolymer, you um, need your little stampin' mat so you can get a really good impression. So we are using the Memento Black because we're going to be using some blends, although I did color them ahead of time, but just just pretend with me and then granny apple green because I'm using a little bit of bright colors so the first thing I did is I stamped my kangaroo and the memento so I'm just inking this up and then you're gonna stamp your kangaroo and then you're going to run him through now I use my little mini my little mini um, die cut emboss machine this mini one for all these cards so it works with the this die and it works with all the kangaroo dies so I just love having this right here next to me and I can just run it through and um, all that then I stamped the bouquet in memento as well and look it for the magic of uh, Facebook live it's right there and it's already colored so um that one is already done. And then we're going to pretend like we're running it through our machine because you guys saw me use it last week. And then here is our cute little kangaroo. And I use, I'll tell you the colors I use of the blends. So the blends are our alcohol markers and I use crumb cake on um, the kangaroo and then dark soft suede on his nose and light flirty flamingo for the ear. For the flowers, I use Granny Apple Green, Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, and Bermuda Bay. So those are the colors that I use. Now this thing right here, this is what you need to make it interactive to pull out. So I'll show you how to use that. But we're going to stamp the grass in the Granny Apple Green ink. So there is a little piece of, a little tiny stamp in here for grass. And we're going to stamp it... Um, along kind of the bottom here. So I'm just going to ink it up. And so I'm going to stamp it and then move it over and stamp it again. So I'm going to get a variation, variegated, is that the right word? Colors of green. Make it look maybe a little bit more realistic. I know my friend Rhonda has a magic box and my friend Tammy and I just... Whoop, whoop, here you go, they're done. So something like that. So there you go, there's some grass. You can, you can probably do yours straighter than me. Mine's not very straight. Okay, so now we're going to uh, clean this off and uh, we're going to put this back in here. Okay, so now the cool thing is, so all of these kangaroos I die cut, except for one, because when you die cut it, do you see that? It cuts the, the slit in the kangaroo already, so it has a little pouch there. So that is like pretty darn cool. And then we're going to stamp, um, it says, hopping by to say hi. So let me grab that. Hopping by to say hi. I didn't even know I liked kangaroos until now. I mean, who knew? Who knew how cute they could be? So there's that. And thank you all for joining me tonight. I know I said that. I say that all the time. I really appreciate it. If you're watching on YouTube or the replay, um, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment, all the things. I appreciate it. That helps me out a lot. And it's a way I can do these videos. So 
this is how um, this goes down. So this is going to go in here like that. And then the thing though is on the back, you don't want to glue this down on the back, okay? So we're going to take our little flowers and we're going to attach it on there with a mini glue dot. So I'm just going to put a mini glue dot on the bottom here. And <laughs> um, we're going to stick this on here like this. And then um, we're going to take this one that says just a note. I can't hardly see it, but I think I got the right one now. And watch this. Now we're going to stamp this here on the bottom of this thing. So not only when they pull it out, it's going to have a secret message for them. Just dropping by to say hi, and then it says just a note. Or I think I meant to say just for you. I don't know. They both work. So here we have this. Now this just slides right down in there, and now our cute little kangaroo is holding the bouquet. So we're going to flip it over, and we're going to put dimensionals on this part, but not this part right here, okay? Sorry if I keep saying okay. We're going to add three dimensionals. So one, two, three. So I left that space open right there. Whoops. Okay, so now we're going to flip this over. We gotta fix it. Come on, kangaroo, hold your bouquet. And we're going to um, put our kangaroo on the grass, just like that. So this is a start. Now we're going to put this here with some more dimensionals, of course. So just put one in each corner, one in the middle if you want, two in the middle. Some of you love dimensionals more than me. Go ahead and use them. Uh, use them up however many you like. Okay, so we're gonna put this right here. And then we're gonna grab those resin hearts, which I showed you. These are with the snail bit um, back in that set. And so this is what, I'm gonna give you a full sheet if you place a $50 order uh, by Friday. And anyway, what's so cool, they're red and white, but the white ones you can color with your alcohol markers. So I'm gonna grab Melon Mambo, because I use Melon Mambo in the flower. So I'm gonna take my Dark Melon Mambo and I'm going to go over, do you see this? This was once white, it's now a beautiful pink. And I already did two other ones and so they dried. And then um, I am going to, so how cool is that? You can do that with a lot of our embellishments. And then I have my little tool my take your pick tool. So this is great for moving embellishments. And then I'm gonna take those pink hearts that I just made and I'm gonna put one there. And then I'm gonna put one. I wanna make sure it's going the right way here. And then we'll do the other one here. Okay, there is our card. This is our finished card. What do you think? It says just hopping by to say hi. And then look, they can pull out the cute bouquet. Okay, this is a really cute card. I just have to say that. <laughs> super, super cute. Here's my original one that I did like an hour ago. Because you guys know that I, I just, I do these right before I go live. So let me know what you think of that card. We're going to move on because we have two more cards in a box to make. Okay, the next card we're going to make is, um, let's do, actually, let's do the box. This We're gonna make this cute little box. So these boxes, whoa, like all my pieces just went flying. That's cool. Uh, not really, but okay. Here we go. We have these cool boxes. So let me let me show you where um, they are. They're with the Valentine uh, like things up front here. So they're these uh, love 
Love You Always treat boxes. They're $9 and you get 10 and they're super, super sturdy. I included them in my stamp camp if you just took that. So it comes like this. This is your belly band. So that's easy to do. This is a little bit tricky. So I went ahead, you're gonna fold all the lines just like this. Then these four tabs right here, you're going to um, push up. This box does not require any glue. And then these, you're gonna think of the tabs you're gonna do first. So these outside ones with the tabs, you're gonna push in like that. And then this one with the tab, it has a little slit in it there. We're going to push that in. So it looks like this so far. Now you're gonna take this one and it has like a little lip there. And you're gonna push that down and that's gonna go right in the slit. And that is your box. It is super, super sturdy. And then we're gonna take some of this candy and, and like fill this up because you know I I am on a low cholesterol diet I cannot eat pretty much anything right now so we're gonna give these away to somebody who can and so we're gonna put these delicious Lindor truffles in there and they're red so they match which you guys know I love match I love it when it matches so there's that next I have a piece of real red cardstock and um, this is just gonna layer right on the top and then this is from the same designer series pack the snail it and look at there's little hearts there and then look at the back has mushrooms so again if you um, decide you have to have these make and takes um, you can order if it's at least $35 before shipping and tax I will send you one of each of them and then um, if you order at least 50, you'll also get a celebration item. And then you'll get the resin hearts. And don't forget, you can you can um, go up to 100 and get a level 2 celebration. Or if you do 150, don't use the host code. And then um, you can use the host rewards yourself. Here's the twine that I was showing you. We're using this. It comes with a pack of white and blushing bride. It's very, very pretty. And twine is just like so easy to use. So I'll give you the twine also in your kit. You're going to wrap this around twice and then you're going to tie a bow off to the side. And then this can stay right on because the whole band is going to slide off. I'll show you. We will show you. I'm very chatty tonight. I'm not, I don't know. So I, um, Maybe it's because when I got home from work, I drank a cup of coffee, pretty much black, which I I don't like black coffee, but that's pretty much all I can drink anymore, or water. So maybe that's why I'm so, like, chit-chatty anyway. <laughs> so there's that. Next up, um, you're going to stamp your kangaroo, color it, and die cut it. Um, so you will um, then have this cute little thing right here. So I, again, I just already went ahead and did that. And then you're going to stamp these adorable hearts and die cut them. They have a die cut too. So look at, here we go. These we are gonna color in. And then you need this little pull tab because that's just so cute. I also punched out with the kiss punch. This one right here, do you see it has like lips? I know there's a glare. Lips and a heart. So that's where this heart comes from. So we are gonna color this in with a flirty flamingo and real red. So these are our Stampin' Blends. These are alcohol markers. And um, if you don't have these, you should ask for them or buy them for yourself for Valentine's Day um, because you deserve them. Um, they no, they're amazing markers. They're so they just uh, color so great and pretty and I I can't say enough good things about them. And if you watch me or follow me, you know I talk about them pretty much every week, right? So there's the flirty flamingo. Now here's the real red. We're just gonna color in the rest of these hearts. I think this is pretty much the only coloring I'm doing with you because I didn't want you guys to have to watch me color when I had so many projects tonight. So normally we only make like two or three 
meet usually just two projects. So tonight it's like a double feature. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tammy says, I like the way you think. Yeah. I mean, especially if you can't have chocolate on Valentine's Day, get some new markers. Or a die cutting machine or a new bundle that you love. Something, something fun. All right, there you go. So here are, does the dies have a pull tab? Yes, let me show you the dies. So the dies come, uh oh, I lost my baby kangaroo. So the dies come like this. And here's what it has. And then this one. So, uh oh, my here it fell out. So this, this one right here, this is the pull tab. And so that, and then there's a heart, there's a party hat. There's like a, there's two baby kangaroos. So there's like, look at a baby kangaroo and like a toddler kangaroo. And then a mama kangaroo. And then all these cute like party hats. Uh, look at the little butterfly, the heart, hello baby. Like you have to have this. And these combined are less than $40. So you didn't know you loved kangaroos so much either, did you? I know I didn't until about two hours ago when I fell in love with this set. So we are going to put this down with a mini glue dot, just like I did on the other one. So I'm going to put this down right here. Uh, so just with the tap like that. So there you go. And then, of course, because we're going to pull it out, we need real red ink. And we're going to have it say, now what did I do with my stamp set? I'm like so excited about this. I get so excited. Um, it is going to say, love you much. So we're going to stamp love you much on the bottom. So when they pull out these hearts, they're going to know how much you love them. And we're going to, isn't that cute? So cute. Uh, Kim, I'm so sorry that your internet stopped. Um, there's always the replay too, so don't, don't worry. Um, and it's always on YouTube as well after. So, and then on this heart, we're going to stamp just for you. Hopefully I can find it. What is my watch? Oh, look at you guys. I did something. I, I met my stand goal. I'm telling you what, um, this says just a note. I don't want just a note. I want just for you. Oh, where is it? I can't. Love you much. These are really little. There it is. It's in the wrong place. Okay, so just for you, we're going to stamp on this heart. So I'll punch out other pieces for you. There we go. And, all right, now we're going to just put this together. And this box is done. So on the back, again, my only major tip is to be careful with, you don't want to put it on the tab so that it, um, you know, it can work, like pull out and be really fun. So we're going to put this kangaroo kind of over here. We're going to put the just for you on a, little dimensional two up here and then we're going to take those cute little hearts so cute we're going to take two of the white ones and just put a white one there and a cute little white one over here and there is our cute little box so you'll get this box also if you decide you want to order and then look at it slides open and then you can put whatever you want. You don't have to put candy in there. You could put lotion, hand sanitizer, some money, a gift card, a variety of things, a necklace, some earrings, all kinds of stuff. It's a really good size box and it's super, super sturdy. So there is our second project um, for tonight. All right, let me know what you think of that one. And then I'm gonna hold it here for a second and we're gonna move over to our third one. So our third project is an adorable, I 
mean, I guess I think they're all adorable. I hope you do too. Um, is going to be this right here. We're making, look at a baby, the baby. So what we need is we're using Blushing Bride, so a very light pink for our card base. And then I have Real Red. And the Real Red is embossed with the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder or something like that. So that's going to go down here. And then I cut a piece of the same pack of paper, the designer series paper. This has like a pink and a red. You can see the cute little snails on the back. So I love the snails too. They're so cute. I'm debating doing a class on it with the snails um, because I love them so much. Let me know what kind of classes you want to see me do with this new catalog. The hydrangeas I'm doing for the retreat and that registration ended. So all those have been claimed. So there, here is this so far. Then I went ahead and did my Stitch So Sweetly dye in Whisper White. And we're just going to pop that up with some dimensionals. Um, just like this. We did the ice cream set for Card Club this month, so that was super fun. Need some really fun birthday cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to need this piece too. This is in the dies. Um, so this is Blushing Bride, and so I just cut that out. And then we need, look it, you're going to stamp, color, and die cut your little baby kangaroo. He's really cute. And then you need one more of these. So if you do get the make and take, you'll probably get a whole sheet of Whisper White Paper for you to do all your stamping and die cutting because there is a lot. Because like I said, I cut all the kangaroos so that, um, that you could put the little slit in there. So the little baby kangaroo goes down just like the other. And this one I didn't put anything on the tab. He just gets to pull out for fun. So I'm just going to put a little mini glue dot and then we're going to take this little tab and um, stick it on just like that. Now you can stamp the bottom if you want. There's lots of cute little things you can put just for you, whatever you want. And again, for this one, I just use crumb cake and um, I use dark soft suede on, his, on the nose. But look at how cute is that that the little baby goes in there and then it comes out. So cute. I could have made like five more cards with this set, but I had to go live. So here's this one. And again, we're just going to um, peel off your dimensionals. Don't stick it on that tab. And then the kangaroo is gonna go right here like that. And then on this little pink square, we're going to stamp in real red ink. Um, it's going to say, hello baby. So this is going to be a baby card. And again, you could change it to different colors. If you wanted it more boy or more neutral, um, you could change the colors to whatever you want. I just wanted to stick with that snail pack because it's so cute. That snail um, designer series paper that is. All right, so there's that hello baby. And we're going to flip this over and pop it up. And then we're going to um, attach this right here like that. We're gonna grab our pretty little, well, they're pretty cute, uh, resin hearts. And we're going to take your take your pick tool. This has putty on the end, so you can just um, pull this little heart up and we're gonna put a little heart right there. And then we're gonna put two more on. We're gonna put one down here and we're going to put one over here, just like that. And we're not quite done. The last thing we're gonna do is in this set, there is a little heart. There's a little, little heart right there. 
And then there's a little die too. There's a die that cuts out the heart. So I went ahead and did that right there. And we are going to color that in with the Real Red Blend. Now you could just die cut it in um, red too, but I wanted to color, I just wanted, I felt like coloring tonight. So we're coloring this in, but again, that's an option that you could um, do. And then put a little glue dot on the back. So there's a little glue dot. And then we're gonna put this like in, right in between the mama. So there is that card. Um, so if when this runs out, they sell a replacement tip, uh, Cindy. So you can buy replacements of this. If you need more putty, you just like twist it and then it like comes out. And then when you run out, you can buy a replacement. I actually have not replaced mine yet. I have a couple of these though, so I interchange them. But you can do that. So there is our third card. I have one more fast card to share with you. So here's my original. And then look at that cute little baby comes out. Again, you could stamp a little message on there, but these cards are, you guys, you need the kangaroo. I can't say it enough. $37, less than $37. Okay, one more project, all right? Hang with me. Okay, we got one more. Here we go. We're using Bermuda Bay, and this is a nice, fun color. And we're going to, so some of you know I work for um, my upline, actually, Rhonda Wade. And so I went there today because yesterday the roads were terrible here in Michigan. Like, we didn't have school. And um, so I went there today, and I designed a couple classes for her today. So that was fun. I get to make cards all day. Who gets to do that? This is, again, from the same paper. So this, look, it has little envelopes. And like packages with hearts. Just wait till you see this card. So this is four by three, and we're gonna add that down. Okay, and this is coming on right over here. Then the little stamping we're doing, you're gonna take your kangaroo, and I die cut a crumb cake stitch circle. So if you're not a super fan of coloring, you can stamp these kangaroos on brown cardstock, and then you don't have to color so much. So that is something you can do as well. So that's what I'm gonna show you here. And this one is not gonna be die cut. It's still gonna be cute though. So, um, oh, thank you, Debbie. Okay, so we are going to stamp this kangaroo like somewhere like here. It's gonna go off. So the whole kangaroo is on here and that's okay. It's totally okay. Some of you might not like that, but it's all right. And it actually got on my mat, so I need to take a baby wipe and just wipe that off. But that washes off easily too. So there's that. And then we are going to stamp. Look it, in this set with the thing, look at there. There is an envelope with a heart. It's like it totally coordinates. Stampin' Up! They just have it all together all the time. So I stamped that. And I'm going to color um, the heart red. So I stamped it in Memento and then in Early Espresso. And I'm going to use the Memento one because just because I am. And then I'm using just the same colors, Flirty Flamingo and Real Red. Coloring the envelope. And then I think that little rectangle will die cut this out if you are like super particular. But I don't always have to be particular. Um, so I'm just gonna, it's a rectangle. Snip, 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 snip. Our, our envelope is cut. Um, so there is our cute little envelope, right? So cute. So um, I'm going to pop this up on a, um, I'm so glad, Christy. I'm glad you can use those for um, creating for Christ. That makes me happy. 
So I have a little dimensional and then this is going to come on here. Now I did take my color lifter and I lightened it because that pink is a little bit um, darker than the pink on here. So I can be picky, a little picky. So I just took my color lifter and I just lightened it up a little bit. Just like that. So then when it dries, it'll be a little bit lighter. Okay. And then I think I went like that to get the nose a little bit darker. And then we're going to pop him up. And look at this card is almost done. This one was uh, super quick. So we're going to um, put this down here. And then finally, we're going to take, again, you know what I'm going to grab, the resin hearts. We're going to take some of the red ones. Oh, I forgot to stamp my sentiment. So you can just put these cute little hearts all over. Um, I just stamped on this one just for you. But you, again, stamp what you like. And then, so I use the early espresso again. Okay, so stamp this. I'm just going to stamp it right on here. Just like that. Okay, that is our last card. So this one was super fast, um, but again, I hope that you have fallen in love with the Kangaroo and Company stamp set. It is um, an adorable set that you need for your collection. And if you join late, let me show you all the cards that we made tonight, because we made several tonight. So here's my original one too. So. They're really, really fun. So there's that one. And then we did a cute little baby one with the baby that comes out. And then we did the cute little box. Again, this comes out and it says, love you much. And then this opens and you can put a treat in there or a gift. So there's that. And then our first card we made was this one with the bouquet that comes out. So we made a lot of cards tonight because I just love, I love the set. So I hope you loved it too. And um, again, if you would like these make and takes, I don't normally do this. I normally just do our virtual class for the month and that's it. But um, I had a feeling people were going to really like them. So if you want a set of the make and takes, you'll get one of each of these. So you'll get a box and three cards. If you want the make and takes, um, you're going, you need to use that host code. It's P9RQSSYJ and place your order that is at least $35. And then, um, and then I will, what happened? Then I will, um, send you the make and takes. Sorry, I think I, I think it was 30. I'm getting so confused. And then if, uh, if you order at least 50 though, you'll get the full package of the hearts as a thank you gift from me. And then um, you'll also get a celebration item as well. If your order goes over 150, just uh, you get the host code or don't use the host code because you will get the hostess rewards. Hostess rewards are um, at $150 that is uh, $15 in free product of your choice. So um, I want you to have those and you'll still get the make and takes and all the um, thank you gifts from me. If you have ordered from me in the last week, um, I have some thank you uh, pack little gifts to send out and thank you cards. So you can be looking for those in your mailbox. If you ordered the stamp camp, those were shipped um, on Saturday and card club was shipped on monday so a lot of you should get be getting some packages in the mail for me so i'm super excited if you are new to me and are wondering about my events and classes make sure you go to um over there my website and join my email list that's where i send out all the registrations for all of my classes that i have going on 
And so that's how you can find out about them and all of that fun stuff. And lastly, before I wrap this up, if you're still here with me, um, if you love paper crafting as much as I do, or you're just getting into it and you have a really long wish list, um, I would love to have you join my team. We are the Owl Star Stampers. Um, we have a group of us here in Michigan, but really we are all over the U.S. now. And um, thankfully with technology, we can um, interact and get to know each other. And so we have an awesome starter kit right now. So basically you get a big craft kit for only $99 and you uh, that's what you pay. And then you pick out 125 of products of your choice. Um, you don't have to sell anything if that's not what you want, but if you want to, I can help you um, do that as well. I give all my tutorials to my team, and we have a private page. And Anyway, there's lots of benefits. I'm not going to go into all of that right now. I also did a video on YouTube explaining it more, too, and I even have a tab on my blog, Owl Star Stampers, if you want that, too. So I just want to share that because right now there is a really good special, and you get some Five, five packs of paper as well. So I hope you enjoyed the kangaroo cards. Thanks for joining me tonight. Have a great night and I will see you next time. And you have until Friday to order to get the make and take packet. See you all. Bye. Have a good night. Oh, and before I, I'm still live, I didn't hit the end button. If you have problems ordering, you can always reach out to me and I will help you as well. Because um, I know sometimes our ordering system isn't the easiest. So I can always help you with uh, ordering too.